Tom Irvine developed the Vibration Data Toolbox over many years to help with his analysis of, of data in, for NASA. Uh, and he's been sharing that MATLAB code for a long time. We partnered with him to compile this MATLAB code into an executable that folks without MATLAB uh, can use. And so there's a ton of functionality in here. You see it's version 13.3 by Tom. Uh, you, you can input any many different data sets and have upwards of, I think, 150 different functions that can be run. Uh, so I'll show you a few different things here real quick as an overview of what the toolbox can do. To load data, again, you can don't have to use data from our sensors. Any, any data set can work. Uh, if you specify a CSV file or MAT file, text file, whatever you have. Uh, when inputting, you're going to need to specify a, uh, a variable per column of data. And the way Tom has built this system, you, you, you manipulate those columns into matrices to do your analysis. So one analysis I do a lot is the power spectral density. Again, you make your uh, single column arrays into a two column matrix, as you see Tom needs here and you see your processing options and you can calculate a PSD. Uh, the nice thing about the, the PSD function here is I can start to specify what bin width I'd like to have and maybe if you know, I wanna clean it up a little bit, um, I, can, I can do that here. I can also convert into an octave format uh, here, which is helpful to further clean it up and I'll, I can show you that uh, in a second. Uh, Another thing in the toolbox that I use quite often are these plot utilities and I want to compare multiple curves. So I did that for that power spectral density I just showed you in two different bins as well as uh, an octave format. And here is this plot that I can export as a uh, PNG file or SVG or PDF uh, for, for a report. Uh, another calculation I use quite a lot is the shock response spectrum. It's a great way to analyze shock data. This data is from uh, a motorcycle that was hit uh, with an NDAC sensor on the, the motorcycle, which is really cool. And you get the output of the pseudo velocity in this uh, four coordinate plot to show uh, displacement here in the diagonal up or uh, acceleration in the diagonal down. And you can see these specific uh, individual shock response spectrums as well as pseudo velocity acceleration displacement. But that's one of many different analysis capabilities of the toolbox. I encourage you to have fun, try out uh, a variety of different uh, functions that are in here, share with us what you did. I always like to learn about new capabilities they didn't know we're even in here. Uh, so have fun and enjoy and, 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 and share with us your results. Thank you.